Some locomotives are designed for high-speed passenger work, some are designed for pulling freight, some are designed to do both, and then there's this butte, designed to do one thing and one thing only. PUSH! Hills are a difficult thing for most trains to climb thanks to their weight and the lack of traction on their wheels. This is why banking engines are needed, aka locomotives that push trains from behind to aid them up hills and prevent any wagons from breaking free. In 1919, the Midland Railway was in need of an engine that could perform the role of banking on the Licky Incline, the steepest section of track in Britain. While a few tank engines or a spare goods engine may have covered the job, the Midland Railway wanted a designated engine that was guaranteed to do the job properly and consistently. And so, they built this, number 2290. It had four chunky cylinders, a tractive effort of 43,300 pounds, and was one of the first few locomotives in the UK to have ten driving wheels. While the design was somewhat awkward and didn't have the most impressive steaming characteristics, it more than made up for them with its traction and ability to move a heavy train up a hill. The engine's design also couldn't manage a high top speed, and because it was only ever used for banking work, it was never found out how fast the engine could truly go. Despite Despite this, the banker was more than suited for the job and ran up and down the Licky Incline for 37 years, clocking up a total of 838,856 miles travelling up and down the line. Which, if my mathematics is correct, means it travelled up and down the Licky roughly 209,000 times. As the engine was such a common sight to railway workers and enthusiasts, it eventually earned the nickname of Big Emma, or more commonly, Big Bertha. Bertha eventually came into the possession of British Railways, who didn't bother giving her a power classification due to her immense traction and the fact that she was never designed for work outside of simply pushing trains up a hill. By 1956, however, BR had produced their 9F class that were primarily used for freight work, and though not as powerful as her, were still some of the most powerful engines running on British rails. With Bertha being a one-of-a-kind locomotive, and thus much harder to maintain thanks to the need for specially made parts, it was decided that Bertha would be retired and replaced with a 9F instead, with several different tank engines occasionally taking over banking duties when needed. Number 92079 was given Bertha's high power electric headlight, and Bertha was taken to Derby Works where she was scrapped a year later. While Bertha may not have been an amazing engine and was very much a one trick pony, she still held a place in the hearts of enthusiasts for standing out among all the other the banking locomotives around the country. She's perhaps then the shining example that, even if you're only good at one thing, you can still be memorable. Subscribe for more.